Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group? Uh huh. Now, now, what kinds of things do you take to school? I take my Taiso Fuku that is gym clothes. And I take my backpack and my books. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Okay. And what is the first thing you do when you get to school? We do kiddits. Be. Kiddits and be. Now, what are those? It means stand up. Okay. Bow. Stand up and bow. Uh huh. Okay. And what do you study at school? We study. Kokugo, that is writing and reading and stuff like that. Okay. And Sanju does math. Okay. And let's see. We do gym too. Okay. And where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No, we eat in our classroom. You eat in your classroom? Yes. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Now, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at And sometimes that too. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. Dad, I'm bored today. I want to go to a movie. A movie today? Well, I don't know. Here, let me look at the newspaper. Okay. Ah,、uh, here's a movie that starts in the afternoon at 2:45. Well, should we take mommy with us? Yeah. Okay, we have to wait for mommy because she's at a meeting right now. Okay. All right, and what should we do after we see the movie? Go on a walk. Well, where would you like to go on a walk? Would you like to go down to the beach or through the park? To the beach. To the beach. Well, that sounds great. And then maybe we can go out to eat tonight. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Dad, I'm bored today. I want to go to a movie. A movie today? Well, I don't know. Here, let me look at the newspaper. Okay. Ah,、uh, here's a movie that starts in the afternoon at 2:45. Well, should we take mommy with us? Yeah. Okay. We have to wait for mommy because she's at a meeting right now. Okay. All right. And what should we do after we see the movie? Go on a walk. Well, where would you like to go on a walk? Would you like to go down to the beach or through the park? To the beach. To the beach. Well, that sounds great. And then maybe we can go out to eat tonight. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Hey, James. Glad you could make it. Come on into the living room. Yeah.、Uh, thanks for inviting me. As I said, I'm looking for a place where I can have a homestay experience and pick up some English and culture. And who is that on your sofa? Oh, that? Oh, Randall? Ah,、oh, man, he's my roommate. What? How many people live in this house? Well, let's see. There's my American mom and dad, and they have thirteen kids.、Uh, the family has four dogs, three cats. A rabbit and a, oh yeah, a large snake named Phil. And then there are three international students that share a room with one of the dogs. No, I don't think this is a good idea. I can't live here. No, man, you'll like it. You and Randall can be roomies.、Mm, no, no way. I mean, what is Randall like anyway? Oh, Randall. Oh, he's so laid back, and he gets along with everyone when he's awake. What? Yeah, he plays video games about well until about four in the morning, but the noise won't bother you much. Just wear earphones, and he can give you a ride to school. Uh, when he goes. No, forget it. I'll live with my brother in the dorms. Hello. Hello, Roger. This is Anne. Oh, hi, Anne. How have you been? And how's your new apartment working out? Well, that's what I'm calling about. You see, I've decided to look for a new place. Oh, what's the problem with your place now? I thought you liked the apartment. Oh, I do, but it's a little far from campus, and the commute is just killing me. Do you think you could help? I thought you might know more about the housing situation at the school. 
Okay, what's your budget like? I mean, how much do you want to spend on rent? Uh, somewhere under $200 a month, including utilities, if I could. Oh, and I prefer it to rent a furnished apartment. Hmm, and anything else? Yeah, I need a parking space. Well, I know there's an apartment complex around the corner that seems to have a few vacancies. I'll drop by there on my way to class today. Hey, thanks a lot. No problem. Hello? Hello, Roger. This is Ann. Oh, hi, Ann. How have you been? And how's your new apartment working out? Well, that's what I'm calling about. You see, I've decided to look for a new place. Oh, what's the problem with your place now? I thought you liked the apartment. Oh, I do, but it's a little far from campus, and the commute is just killing me. Do you think you could help? I thought you might know more about the housing situation at the school. Okay. What's your budget like? I mean, how much do you want to spend on rent? Uh, somewhere under $200 a month, including utilities, if I could. Oh, and I prefer it to rent a furnished apartment. Hmm, and anything else? Yeah, I need a parking space. Well, I know there's an apartment complex around the corner that seems to have a few vacancies. I'll drop by there on my way to class today. Hey, thanks a lot. No problem. And hi, young lady. What is your name? Elizabeth Carter. And Elizabeth, uh, how does your family celebrate Christmas? We go sledding and then go over to my grandparents' house and have dinner with them. Well, that is great. And let me ask this young man. Hi, what is your name? Johnny. And Johnny, uh, how old are you? Five. Five. And does your family eat anything particular for Christmas? Turkey. And what does Christmas mean to you? Going to my grandma's and making the breakfast. Going to grandma's and making breakfast. And let me ask another young man. Hi, what is your name? Steven. Okay, Stephen, and what does Christmas mean to you? Giving but not expecting to get. And that's kind of hard for a young man like yourself. And what does that mean, giving but not expecting? Well, one thing that we do is secret giving. Secret giving. Now, how does that work in your family? We sneak up to the porch of somebody that we want to give to. We put the gift that we want to give to them. Ring the doorbell and hide. Ring the doorbell and hide. Uh, so you're not expecting something. You just want to be generous to someone else. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And let's interview one more. And uh, how do you celebrate Christmas? What is the best thing about Christmas, and what does it mean to you? It means getting off from school. Getting off from school? Do you all feel that way? Because I hate homework. Yeah. Well, that's all here from the City Mall Channel 7 reporting. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available, either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes. It's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. Hello, this is the front desk, test speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I'd like to order room service. Okay, what can I get for you? Well, okay, I'd like to order a grilled chicken sandwich. Okay. Some fries and a small salad. Okay, what kind of dressing? Okay, well, I'll, how about ranch? But I'd like it on the side. Okay, on the side. Anything else for you? Uh, yeah, how about a glass of orange juice? Okay, large or small? Well, let's, let's go with uh, a large. Okay, and what room are you in? I'm in, I'm in, let's see, <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I'm in room 640. And your name? It's James. All right. And, uh, oh, yeah, how long will it take? Oh, it shouldn't be more than about 30 minutes. Okay, and, okay, well, what time is it now? 6.45. Okay, all right, thank you. Perfect. 
Hello, this is the front desk, Tess speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I'd like to order room service. Okay, what can I get for you? Well, okay, I'd like to order a grilled chicken sandwich, okay. some fries, and a small salad. Okay, what kind of dressing? Okay, well, I'll, how about ranch? But I'd like it on the side. Okay, on the side. Anything else for you? Uh, yeah, how about a glass of orange juice? Okay, large or small? Well, let's let's go with uh, a large. Okay. And what room are you in? I'm in, I'm in, let's see, <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I'm in room 640. And your name? It's James. All right. And, uh, oh, yeah, how long will it take? Oh, it shouldn't be more than about 30 minutes. Okay, and, okay, well, what time is it now? 645. Okay. All right, thank you. Perfect. Hello, this is James Goodfellow from Channel 4 News. Today, we're interviewing Sarah Roberts, the star of the new movie, Zombies on Mars, Part 4. Sarah, uh, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Jimmy. Uh, it's James. Whatever. James. Well, let's start off the interview with a few basic questions. First of all, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Miami. But we moved to New York when I was three years old. Oh. I lived there until I was 17, and then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay, and where did you go to college? I attended Fernando School of Acting, and all of my teachers loved my acting. <laughs> oh, and uh, did you have a part-time job while you were in school? Yeah, I worked at a movie theater, and oh. everyone loved the way I made popcorn. Really? Okay. And how old are you now? Well, I'm only 20, but everyone I know says that I look at least 22. All right. Okay. And what are your hobbies outside of acting? Oh, I love shopping for clothes and makeup and... 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 Did I say I love shopping for clothes? <laughs> uh, you did say clothes. Oh, yeah. Well... Do you want to take some pictures of me, you know, for well, your homepage or your blog? And you can even use them on your Facebook fan page. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Okay, well, um... Oh! Oh, look! All what? of my fans! Hey, gotta go, honey! Hi, everyone! Son! What are you... Dad? Dad? Son, what are you doing here down at the beach? I thought you said you were going to buy some things for school. Well, uh, Dad, I did buy some things. Well, what did you buy? What do you have in your backpack? Well, let's see. I have three notebooks, five pencils, an eraser, and oh, yeah. Wait, two smartphones? Yeah, well, um... What... What do you need with two smartphones? Well, I use one to call you and mom, and the other, I call my, um, my teachers. Yeah, 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 that's it. Right. And, uh, yeah. And what else did you buy? Well, um, yeah, I have a new iPad. A new iPad? What do you need a new iPad for? Well, you know, my birthday is coming up. Your birthday isn't until June. That's six months away. Well, Mom thought it was a good idea. And I have, let's see, what else? Two cheeseburgers, some fries, and, oh, a melted ice cream. How did you pay for all that? Well, uh, whoa, ah, time is passing. Gotta go. Bye, Dad. Hey, where's my credit card? Come back! Next. Uh, your passport, please. Okay. Uh, what is the purpose of your visit? I'm here to attend a teaching convention for the first part of my trip, and then I plan on touring the capital for a few days. And where will you be staying? I'll be staying at a room at a hotel downtown for the entire week. And, uh, what do you have in your luggage? Um, well, just, just my personal belongings, um, clothes, a few books, and a CD player. Okay, um, please open your bag. Sure. Okay, everything's fine. Great. Uh, by the way, is this your first visit to the country? Well, 
Yes and no. Actually, I was born here when my parents were working in the capital many years ago. But this is my first trip back since then. Well, enjoy your trip. Thanks. Next,、uh, your passport, please. Okay.、Uh, what is the purpose of your visit? I'm here to attend a teaching convention for the first part of my trip, and then I plan on touring the capital for a few days. And where will you be staying? I'll be staying at a room at a hotel downtown for the entire week. And、uh, what do you have in your luggage? Um. Well, just just my personal belongings.、Um, Clothes, a few books, and a CD player. Okay,、um, please open your bag. Sure. Okay, everything's fine. Great.、Uh, by the way, is this your first visit to the country? Well, yes and no. Actually, I was born here when my parents were working in the capital many years ago. But this is my first trip back since then. Well, enjoy your trip. Thanks. Sarah, I've been looking forward to our yearly campout for three weeks. Me too. It's going to be a wonderful day for hiking tomorrow. The great outdoors, camping under the stars—this is the life. Yeah, but Paul, I'm a little bit worried about the weather, though. The weatherman said it was going to rain later tonight. Ah, nonsense! Nothing can spoil our adventure. Those weather reports are never right. And it said there was a chance of high winds. Ah, don't worry. Paul, Paul, did you remember to bring our raincoats just in case, like I told you? Oh no, I left them on the front porch.、Oh, what are we going to do now? We'll have to sleep in the car. Hurry, get in. So, Paul, what are we going to do now? Uh, how about playing a card game? Uh, I left them next to the picnic table. Oh. Hey, you don't want me to go out in the rain to get them, do you? Nah. That's okay. So what now? Well, we could head down the mountain and stay at that hotel we passed on the way up, or go home. Hmm. Why don't we just make the best of it here and hope the weather clears? That's a good idea. Amy, so what do you do for a living? Well, I work as an attorney. Oh, and what kind of law do you practice? I mean, what is your specialty? I work as a personal injury attorney. And we work with all kinds of cases. Oh, for example. Well, like injuries in car accidents, falls, and evil animal attacks. Oh. Like a neighbor's dog that bites you when you go to get the morning newspaper. Wow. And where did you study law? I graduated from Stanford Law School. Oh, and when was that? I completed my studies there in 1997. Oh, well, actually, my son is thinking about going into law. Hey, look! If your son is interested, he can even drop by my office this week. I'm there until five thirty every day. Wow, that's very kind of you to offer. I'll let my son know. Thanks. Amy, so what do you do for a living? Well, I work as an attorney. Oh, and what kind of law do you practice? I mean, what is your specialty? I work as a personal injury attorney, and we work with all kinds of cases. Oh, for example. Well, like injuries in car accidents, falls, and evil animal attacks. Oh. Like a neighbor's dog that bites you when you go to get the morning newspaper. Wow. And where did you study law? I graduated from Stanford Law School. Oh, and when was that? I completed my studies there in 1997. Oh. Well, actually, my son is thinking about going into law. Hey, look! If your son is interested, he can even drop by my office this week. I'm there until 5:30 every day. Wow, that's very kind of you to offer. I'll let my son know. Thanks. Hey, I know you. You're James, right? James Roberts. Amanda, Amanda Brown. Wow, it's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, are you going to the class reunion in two weeks? Uh, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure where is it anyway. The reunion is going to be held at the Mountain Country Club across from Park City. Man, that's a nice place. Yeah. So, and what time does it start? I think it starts at six. And how much does it cost? Well, it's twenty dollars a ticket. That includes dinner and entertainment. And what kind of entertainment are they going to have? They're going to have a live jazz band and dancing. Well, who's organizing the event this time? Do you remember Chad Phillips? 
Oh, yeah. Wasn't he the quarterback on the football team? Right, right. Well, he married Sarah Rogers. Oh. Yeah, and they're in charge of the event. So what do you think? Are you going to go? I don't know. Well, I never really fit into high school, and I was kind of a loner. And to be honest, I remember asking Sarah out on a date, and she turned me down. <laughs> she said, I know, and she said she was sick, and it turned out she went out with someone else that night. And I don't know, this could be a little awkward, don't you think? Well, why don't we go together? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, sure. Um, why not? Um, can I be honest? Yeah. Well, I always thought you were really nice, and uh, I just never had the guts to ask you out. <laughs> well, here's your chance. Well, that sounds great. So, what is your number so I can call you? Okay, it's 435. Wait, hang on. i got to get my phone here. Okay, 435. 923. 923. 6017. Okay, 6017. Okay, and where do you live? I only live two blocks south of the old high school. Oh, really? Oh, that's not far at all. Yeah, I, I know where that is. And, uh, well, let me call you a few days before to confirm things. Sounds good. It should be fun. All right. Wait. I thought you were just walking through the hotel to go outside and get something to eat. Why are we stopping at these slot machines? Are you going to gamble? What? Who, me? Hey, I'll meet you back at the conference room with the rest. Uh, no. I'm staying right here with you. Does Sarah know about this? About what? I just have some change in my pocket and I thought I'd get rid of it. See? Look, I have about five bucks or so. Hey, and besides, your wife doesn't need to know about everything you do, does she? Uh, no. This is different. You lost about $1,500 the last time we came uh. here. And wait, why are you taking out your credit card? What? Oh, this? I'm just going to buy a sandwich. Uh, no. Give me that. Oh, okay. Here's my jacket. No, not your jacket. Give me the credit card. Really? Don't you trust me? No. Let's use that credit card and get dinner for the rest of the group. Wait. I thought you were just walking through the hotel to go outside and get something to eat. Why are we stopping at these slot machines? Are you going to gamble? What? Who, me? Hey, I'll meet you back at the conference room with the rest. Uh, no. I'm staying right here with you. Does Sarah know about this? About what? I just have some change in my pocket and I thought I'd get rid of it. See? Look, I have about five bucks or so. Hey, and besides, your wife doesn't need to know about everything you do, does she? Uh, no. This is different. You lost about $1,500 the last time we came uh. here. And wait, why are you taking out your credit card? What? Oh, this? I'm just going to buy a sandwich. Uh, no. Give me that. Oh, okay. Here's my jacket. No, not your jacket. Give me the credit card. Really? Don't you trust me? No. Let's use that credit card and get dinner for the rest of the group. Well, Christmas is almost here. So what do you want from Santa this year? A toy car and walkie-talkies. Really? Well, mm -hmm. and what about you, Emily? What do you want for Christmas? If I can't have a Barbie radio, um, I would have some fragile dolls. And if I can't have some fragile dolls, it doesn't really matter what I get. Wow. Well, I'm excited. And Santa's coming. And how is Santa going to get inside the house, Mikey? Um, go down the chimney. Okay, so he's going to go down the chimney. And should we prepare anything for Santa? Yeah. What are we going to prepare for him, Emily? Um, we can prepare some cookies for him and some hot chocolate. And um, we can give Rudolph some um, hot chocolate in a bowl and a cookie. And we can give some of the reindeer some cookies and some hot chocolate. Well, what do you think? The reindeer probably don't eat cookies, but what else could we give him, Mikey? Um, apples. Oh, well, that's good. And uh, oranges and bananas. Okay, and what time do you think we should go to bed? Um, seven. About seven o'clock. Well, that's exciting. I'm really happy that Christmas is coming. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, 
I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent ten years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the states three years ago. Wow! It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So, what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well. I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding, my brother works there too. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent ten years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the states three years ago. Wow! It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So, what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well. I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding, my brother works there too. Uh, hi, what was your name again? I can't keep straight all the students' names. This being the second day of school. It's okay. I have a hard time remembering names myself. Now, uh, Karen, right? No, it's Nancy. My mom's name is Karen. Nancy. Okay, I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler! But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well, he's a college professor, and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting! What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, just joking. He <laughs> teaches chemistry. Oh, chemistry! And、uh, what about your mother? She works full time at home. Oh, and what does she have her own business or something? Nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so too. Uh, hi. What was your name again? I can't keep straight all the students' names. This being the second day of school. It's okay. I have a hard time remembering names myself. Now, uh, Karen, right? No, <laughs> it's Nancy. My mom's name is Karen. Nancy. Okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler! But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well, he's a college professor, and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting! What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, just joking. He <laughs> teaches chemistry. Oh, chemistry! And、uh, what about your mother? She works full time at home. Oh, and what does she have her own business or something? Nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so too. Hey, Jake, are you ready for your trip? Well, not really. I still have to buy some clothes. Well, what's the weather like where you're going? Well,、uh, it's really hot in the summer, so I'm going to buy some shorts, sandals, and a few T-shirts. What about the rest of the year? People say the fall can still be warm until November, so I'm going to buy some jeans and a few casual shirts. Will you need any warm clothes for the winter? Well, the weather doesn't get too cold, but it often snows in the mountains, so I'm going to buy a couple of warm sweaters, a jacket, and a hat. I don't have room in my suitcase to pack a coat, so I'm going to wait until I get there and buy it when I really need it. Are you going to take anything else? They say it rains cats and dogs in the spring, but again, I'll probably just wait and pick up a raincoat or an umbrella later on. But I'm going to take a good pair of shoes because I plan on walking to and from school every day. Do you need any clothing for formal occasions? Well, you never know when you might need something on the spur of the moment for a wedding or maybe someone's graduation or a nice date. <laughs> so I'll probably take some nice slacks, a dress shirt, and a couple crazy ties or two. That makes sense. And I'll just rent a tuxedo if I need anything more formal. Hey, maybe I'll get married. You? 
<laughs> married? <laughs> Wait, what are you trying to say? I-, I just can't imagine you getting decked out in a tuxedo for any formal occasion. What? I mean, for high school graduation, you wore an old pair of jeans and tennis shoes. Hey, there was a reason for that, so let me explain. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. See, it goes like this.